Today we're going to show you the best way to smoke a London broil to make it tender, juicy, and delicious. So here we have a USDA choice London broil that is a little over two pounds. These are a budget-friendly way to having great tasting meat on a regular basis on a budget, especially if you're a larger growing family. Because it's a lean muscle cut, it also tends to be on the tougher side due to its low fat content. This needs to be marinated. Since lemon broil is marinated before being cooked, it will take on the flavors of those ingredients. Here's the marinade we're going to use. One cup of beef bone broth, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons brown sugar, or a substitute like we're using golden monk fruit, a tablespoon of red wine vinegar, maybe a little bit more, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and two tablespoons of your favorite Italian seasoning. Simply whisk the ingredients well, then I like to put the broil into a Ziploc bag, pouring all the contents in and try to get out as much air as possible before you seal it up, put it in the fridge. It really only needs overnight or two days for maximum effect, and that's what we've done. Two days in the fridge, for the best tasty experience. When you're ready to cook it, simply take it out, towel dry it. I like to use paper towels. Discard the remaining marinade, or if you prefer, use it as a sauce by gently boiling it down after adding some water, about 50-50, for an hour or so. This will ensure that uh, any impurities are taken care of, uh, or make your own sauce if you like. After using extra virgin olive oil as a binder, I'm going to season the salt and pepper. This, I believe, is all it needs, especially after all that marinade has had a chance to work its magic. I'm gonna set my smoker to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 148 Celsius, and smoke until internal temperature reaches about 135 degrees Fahrenheit, or 57 degrees Celsius. Spritz if you like, but it really doesn't need it. All right, as you can see, I'm using a shallow pan with a rack on there. That's so that I can easily transfer it from the smoker to the oven. And also, the type of pellets you're using aren't as important as, say, a brisket or pork butt. These are just a universal blend from Pit Boss, and I'm just putting in enough to where I think it'll need, because I leave my smoker outdoors and I don't want to get them too high of a moisture content. Then I'm going to let it rest for about 10 minutes before broiling it in the oven, turning it over to get an even sear on each side, I'm looking for that golden brown. You can do this over a charcoal, Weber, kettle, a skillet. I chose this way. Let it rest for 15 minutes so as not to have a messy cutting board when you start cutting into it and enjoy. So one thing about London broils is they're a small piece of meat and the higher temperature you go on that initial cooking, the quicker it's gonna get done. So I actually cheated about midway through. I turned it down to 200 just to try to get more smoke, but it really did get up there pretty quick. I took it off at 135, rested it for 10 minutes, then threw it in the oven on broil to get that little bit of a sear on there. Came up to 145, maybe 150 in a couple places, and then that's it. I brought it out. I took some of that sauce that I made from the marinade. Again, guys, I boiled it for about 20 to 30 minutes. That should eradicate any kind of feelings you have about taking the marinade and using it. Now it's been resting for about 10 minutes, and uh, look at this beauty, guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut right into it and take, it, take a little piece. Now, I'm just gonna go right across lengthwise with it. And uh, hey, why not? Let's go right in the middle. Let's show you what that looks like. All right, guys, nice. Nice little medium rare to medium well. I'm gonna go ahead and get a nice thin piece. Now, the thinner you go with tougher pieces of meat, the better chewing experience you're gonna have. So I'm gonna go maybe about an eighth of an inch. Now I have a little bit of the sauce here. Just gonna drizzle it through. Mmm. Oh. Tasty, guys. Mmm. Fantastic. All right, guys, that's it. It came out really good, guys. Play around with your marinade, guys. You know, what I didn't do is add any garlic or onion. You could do that if you wanted to. Um, really, the choice is up to you. Uh, get that flavor profile that you like. And um, maybe the next time I do this, I might add a little garlic and maybe actual brown sugar. Um, but either way, you're gonna have a nice, beefy, flavorful uh, cut of meat that's not gonna break the bank. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, if you wanna see some more uh, budget-friendly kind of cooking ideas, I think I got a nice little video here for you to go try out and we'll see you on the next one.